I'm going to walk you through three different instances where we can see the presence of God that is with us. So now that we know that big difference, I'm going to share the second example of God's presence with us. So turn your Bibles to Romans chapter 8, and we're going to read verses, so Romans chapter 8, verse 38 to 39, and they say this, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor heights, or depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Christ. Jesus, our Lord. I love these verses because there's no ifs, ands, or but about this pre the presence of God, saying that there is absolutely nothing that can separate us from God. That once we are his children and we have that relationship with him, nothing can break that. Nothing can pluck us out of his presence and take us out of it. And because we're humans and we like to find little caveats or loopholes. These verses cover all of it. Not only does it say nothing will separate us, but then it goes into very specific things. And we see this relationships, power, whether spiritual or political, um, you know, whether we climb Mount Everest or we dive to the deepest depths of the ocean, that regardless of where we are, regardless of what we are doing, regardless of what is maybe trying to separate us from God, it's not going to work. That is the bond that we have with Christ when we are saved. One of the lies that Satan loves to tell us is that when we're sinning or maybe when we are unsure that God's presence is for sure not to be going to be with us that you know when we're not living the exact perfect way that God is somehow angry with us and is far away but that's not the truth that we see in his word when we see God's word we see the complete opposite we see that it's in the darkness and in the pain and in the mess that God steps into that into humanity to then reach out to us and have a relationship with us that whatever is going on with us, regardless of what sins that we've committed, that God's presence is with us because that is the extent of his love. That without that ability to step into those things, we couldn't come to God because God understands that we're like, we just really, we can't comprehend it because he's so much bigger than we can even imagine. And so he comes to us exactly where we are to have that relationship with us and to help us grow in him and to experience him so much better as we walk a road with him. But regardless of what happens in our life, he's not going to leave us. And that's one of the things that I absolutely love about God. And the older I become, the more I appreciate it. Because when I was younger, I didn't really think a lot about transitions. In my mind, there was maybe like transition from junior high to high school or like high school to university and then, you know, single to married. <laughs> I didn't really think past that. But as I've grown, I've realized that there are a lot more transitions. And in a lot of those instances, it can feel like our relationship with God changes maybe a little bit. And I, I sometimes feel a little bit lost, right? I'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen next. I'm not really expecting to know where I'm going or this particular season isn't what I want it to be. And it's easy to question God and his love for us and his presence with us in those moments. But scripture is so clear that regardless of what we're going through, whether it's a transition, a new phase of life, you know, some good times, bad times, that his presence doesn't change, that there is absolutely nothing that can break that bond and that that is an eternal bond that will never change. 
And so to me, that's really encouraging because life is hard and there are so many hard things and it's easy to go through those hard things and think, God must have abandoned me. He must hate me. Where is he? And scripture tells us that when we are saved, he is right there. We're in his hands and nothing can take us out of it. And so to me, these verses give so much hope because regardless of everything else that can change around us, God never changes. His presence with us does not change. It is constant regardless of anything else.